we watched a lot of films of, of Miami, and their team, does, they were extremely dangerous. And obviously, playing as well as they did against Carolina got our attention. And we realized that we had to be at our very, very best in order for us to be successful here. Uh, the first half, it was just kind of nip and tuck, and you know we, we couldn't get in, we couldn't get over the hump. The second half, I thought second half our defense tightened up a little bit, and we got a, a stretch there where we had eight straight stops, and then we we did a much better job executing on the offensive end and, and got some some, uh, some 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 baskets and some uh, some easy opportunities. And during that stretch, we got enough separation. We were just kind of able to hang on. I thought, and then once the uh, they became more aggressive and op they opened up the floor. And because the game was winding down, and they took some chances and we got some easy baskets and we were able to extend the lead. The, the, the game probably, with the exception of that, probably would have been a lot closer than the score uh, had had they not had we not spread the floor and, and them having to come at us. And uh, we got to the foul line, went 14 or 15 from the free throw line. First half, we couldn't get any attempts. They did a very good job of defending us without fouling. Uh, they are very disciplined in their defensive execution. They don't reach and grab a lot. Our kids were overly aggressive, I thought, in the first half and, and, and put them on the foul line, and that was the biggest difference, in, I thought, in, in the, the score in the first half. You guys obviously have a lot of skill, but you're a great long team. How much of – Excuse me? You guys have a lot of skill, obviously, but – Well, it affects some people. I mean, this is uh, sometimes uh, North Carolina had an awful lot of height too, and uh, I thought uh, Miami did a great job of turning their mobility, their quickness with their guards, their ability to break down their pressure uh, to their advantage. And then on top of that, they out rebounded them. So we re we realized that sometimes size doesn't necessarily affect the game like maybe. You know, you, you, you might think uh, we we knew we had to be extremely aggressive on the boards because they, once they went to their smaller lineup the last couple of games, they really have been very good on uh, good rebounders. And so we, 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 we really concentrated uh, on uh, on trying to be as aggressive as we could on the boards because we knew they would. What did you, you tell the team at halftime? That we just had to, we just had to ex play extremely hard and execute. That was the game plan. We had to execute offensively, make sure we had high percentage shots, and make sure that we was we was uh, aggressive as we possibly could be. Did you change anything? No, no, no. We just executed a little bit more of what we had uh, planned in the beginning. How would you describe what uh, this program means to your team, Leonard, with the twists and turns you've been through the last several weeks? Well, the, the ACC is no longer the ACC that you guys have been accustomed to covering. And I'm not real sure the nation has caught up to what is happening. It doesn't really matter who you play. Uh, it, it was a time when the more successful, rich, traditional schools uh, would always be favorite. Uh, that's not the case now. Uh, anytime two ACC teams show up, you don't know what's going to happen. We actually were underdogs in this game, as I understand it. We, we were not favored to win this game. Uh, and so you just you got great teams with great coaches. Uh, we got some of the winningest programs in the history of college basketball throughout the league. And every game, when you have two ACC teams playing, it's, it's going to be an exciting game that can go either way. And I think the, the whole season has bared out. That's, that's those are facts. And so for us, we don't we try not to get too excited when we have a little success. And we don't get down when we falter because you don't, you can't have a pity party and you can't too, get too excited. You just got to understand that life in the ACC, you're not going to win them all. You learn from your, the games that you lost and try to prepare yourself to, uh, to be as prepared as you can for the next game. How about uh, Isaac's performance tonight? Very efficient in uh, three big possessions in a row there midway through the second half on offense. Well, he's been that way all year. I, I think what's happened is some because he is a, an unselfish player who very seldom ever forces a shot. He makes great decisions with the ball. A lot of the, the contributions that he makes to the game don't always show up in the statistical column. You know, the, the, the uh, moving the ball quicker, um, 
closing out with his hands up to turn the passing lane, uh, tipping the ball away from someone, uh, getting on the line and not letting the man catch the ball in in in, in the uh, in the scoring area. He does so many little things uh, that uh, that makes us who we are and allows us to be as successful as we have become. Now, as he's gone through the year. He's exerting himself more offensively, and and I think he's getting more attention and bringing more attention to himself. But he's been just as efficient when he wasn't necessarily scoring a whole lot of points. How many ACC teams do you think could make the NCAA tournament? <laughs> wow. I I I would say ten, eleven. I mean because. The quality of our league is at an all-time high, and it's getting better. Um, the well, they've done that in other leagues before. They, they've done that before. I think when when you start adding up all the numbers and that formula that they use, um, high-level games, um, win, wins on the road. Uh, there aren't any bad losses in our league. You know, the RPI is always good. Um, and last year, we had how many teams in the, in the Sweet 16? How many? How many teams we have in the Sweet 16 last year? We had, excuse me? So, so. Now, now, three, three in the final eight. Three in the final eight. My point is that I, I think we're better this year than we were last year. I think our lead is stronger this year than it was last year. So nothing will surprise me. Anybody else? That? Yeah. As if you want our, our players down the hallway by our locker room, we'll bring them outside the locker room. Okay.